The object selection tool is one of the most brilliant additions to Photoshop 2020 and the way it works is that let's say you want to select an object in a photo. All you have to do is to create a rough selection around it and Photoshop then uses its AI or in other words Sensei to make an accurate selection. It's a good starting point of that object very easily. But you know what? The object selection tool is not just limited to that. There's so much more to it and today we're going to take a deeper look at all of the features of the object selection tool to the max. So without any further ado, let's get started. Life is for living. Let's see where the soul might lead. Back in the magical world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and follow along with this photo, download it by checking the links in the description. Now, if you chose select subject in this photo, Photoshop's AI will have a confusion regarding as to what object to select, right? So let's go ahead and choose one of these tools the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool or any of that and then if you just click on select subject photoshop's ai will have difficulty in deciding which object to select and that's why it selected all three of them now let's say you just wanted photoshop to focus on the middle object here's what you do you choose the object selection tool right in here and all i have to do first of all let's choose rectangle from the mode there are two modes, lasso and rectangle. Lasso allows you to make a freehand selection like this and rectangle as the name suggests allows you to create a rectangle selection. So if we choose rectangle, for a beginning it's fine. So let's create a rectangle around it. Now Photoshop will analyze it and create a selection and it's pretty great. Now let's move on to the next feature of the object selection tool. It is not just limited to making the selection one time. You can also use it to refine the selection and here's how to do it. First of all, we will choose the lasso, right? We want to tell Photoshop, all right, this is also the object, select that as well because it has only made selection till this area. We want to extend it. So here's what we do. We just hold the shift key. You see the plus sign next to the lasso. Now you just add it like that. And Photoshop automatically detects the extended object and creates a selection around it. And now to the second part, let's say this an extra area right here is selected. How do you let go of it? How do you tell Photoshop, hey Photoshop, this is not a part of the object. Here's what you do. You do the opposite. You hold the Alt key. You see the minus right now. It just means that you're subtracting. Or you can alternatively click on this button as well. This is minus, this is plus. I usually keep it right here on this button and if I have to add something, I will hold the shift key. If I have to subtract something, I will hold the alt key or the option key. Hold the alt key or the option key. This will turn into minus and then you will just create a selection and Photoshop automatically just subtracts that area. There you go. Now you can take the time to finish it for all of the other areas, but have a look how quick it is in comparison to choosing any of the tools like the lasso tool or any other tool of your choice and slowly going one by one all throughout the object or even inside of select and mask, you would have to paint. It's a mess. But with the object selection tool, all you have to tell Photoshop is that, hey, Photoshop, this is not a part of the object. So you hold the Alt key or the option key and create a rough selection around it. And Photoshop will automatically detect and there you have it. Now let's talk about the other options of the object selection tool. Now at the top, you will find three checkboxes. All right, I have deselected everything again. Just wanted to show you something from the beginning. Now let's say you were working on some other layer. And now if you just use the object selection tool and let's say we choose a rectangle and then we make a rectangle around it, it cannot select anything because the selected area doesn't have anything at all right? Even if it had something, let's say I take a brush and then I paint something right in there. Paint an object, right? Now it will automatically select it. So if I choose the object selection tool and then I make a selection around it on that brand new layer, it will definitely select that object. But what I want from Photoshop is to select that object that I drew along with that plant in the background. So in that case, I would have to choose and check sample all layers. That way it will keep all the layers in mind while making a guess. So now let's just do it again and let's see and this time it should work properly and have a look. It selected the black thing along with the plant as well. So that's how sample all layers work. All right, let's move on to the next feature. The next one is enhance the edge. Now I'm going to show you a comparison without enhance edge or with enhance edge two comparisons and you will see the difference 
for yourself. So let's just go ahead and check it off. All right. And now when you make a selection, we are not going to go in depth into refining the selection for now. We're just going to leave it as it is. And let's name this layer. First of all, let's unlock the background layer and let's name this layer without enhance edge. All right. Now let's make a copy and let's get back to without enhance edge and click on the mask button. All right. And this one is with enhance edge. And now let's turn on enhance edge and do it for this layer as well with the object selection tool. And we're going to make a selection. And then once the selection is done, click on the mask button. Now let's compare both of these by creating a black background. So click on the adjustment layer icon, choose solid color and black at the back of it. Let's create a copy of the black for the other one. And let's move it underneath without enhance edge. And now let's compare both of these. Let's make a group. The first group is with the second group is without. So let's turn off with. Have a look when it is without enhanced edge. Look at the edges. It's not so good. It's just not perfect. But if you just turn on with, have a look how it has merged in the edges a little bit, tried to enhance it a little bit, not keeping it very sharp, but it's just better when it's with it. Now, sometimes you might want sharp edges and for those times you might want to turn this off, but for other times or most of the times you can keep it turned on. So this is without enhanced edge. Have a look. You have sharp edge. Whenever you want sharp edges, you can keep it at that. And this is with enhanced edge. This is a little bit softened edge, looks a little more realistic, but might not be perfect for all cases. Now, the third one at the top is object subtract. So let's make a selection again with a rectangle. We're going to make a selection of this plant. All right. And let's say we don't want this inside the selection. So what we learned before, first of all, let's choose the lasso and hold the alt key, the option key and make a selection around it. It will automatically be subtracted. However, if you check this off, if you check off object subtraction, if you hold the alt key or the option key, and then if you make a selection around it, see, it's just not working. It's taking the selection the way it is. It's not analyzing the object. Let's go back. If I check it on and then hold the alt key or the option key and then make a selection. It is analyzing the object. Let's go back. If I check it off, hold the alt key or the option key and then make a selection. It is not analyzing the object. You get the point. Sometimes when you want to be harsh with it and you, when you want to just accurately subtract stuff, you might want to check it off and then accurately subtract it if you want to. But when you want Photoshop to work its AI, you can actually turn it on and move forward from there. Now, once you have made a selection, you can continue refining it inside of select and mask by clicking here. And we have covered most of what we had to cover and what object selection tool had to offer. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this video, my friend. And I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thanks so much for all your support. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys again in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Life is for living. Let's see where the sun might lead.